So the online assessment tool is unique and usually very helpful. However, I've found giving feedback on it incredibly difficult, especially when individual scores indicate, indicate deeper pathologies with one partner. I mm -hmm. often find that it gives the other partner something to throw at the first one. I'm really mm -hmm. struggling with this dynamic in one of my couples, although the first one is finally seeing the need for individual therapy and I've made a referral. So what are your thoughts on that, on how to give more feedback on the assessment? Okay, so um, first of all, we're gonna be making uh, an instruction video on how to give feedback. Uh, and if you look at the manual, there's a manual that you get uh, online that comes with the program to instruct you about everything. If you read that carefully, that can help. But, you know, really giving feedback is, it follows the same principles as giving feedback when you've taken a Gottman training, right? So, Typically in our Gottman training, after you've done assessment um, in that third session, let's say, or third hour of meeting with a couple, um, you are telling them what are the strengths and challenges of their relationship, of the dynamic between them. Now, when somebody has greater pathology, um, you it has to be handled very carefully. So, you know, what I'm always doing is I typically say that pathology is the third party in the relationship that's messing up the dynamic between the couple. So, for example, if somebody has PTSD, well, PTSD is the third party in the relationship. And when PTSD, I always speak of it neutrally in the third person, when it shows up in the relationship, it's affecting both of them. But together, if they're a team together, then they can minimize the impact of that third party um, problem that is influencing the dynamic between them. So I'm always emphasizing between, 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 as opposed to you've got PTSD, that's a problem, go to therapy. I don't do that. So um, I would recommend, I mean, to see how some of this is handled, at least with PTSD. We have an online training uh, called Treating Affairs and Trauma, TAT. Uh, and it, uh, it's such a cool workshop. I love it. So it's online filmed workshop and it shows how one can deal with a pathology like PTSD. Um, if somebody is borderline, I'm not going to be talking about that person being borderline. Um, what I'm going to be talking about is that person's struggle with abandonment, let's say. Uh, and how terrified they are of it. And the terror of abandonment is the third party in the relationship. So, you know, you have to really finesse it. Um, I, I often do not refer people for individual treatment. Uh, I do couples therapy for addiction, for PTSD, for depression, for borderline or, you know, narcissistic personality stuff. Um, I'm doing almost everything in couples. So um, you can too, if you want to.